I forgot something again. This time it's uh, the, the Sludge Bomb TM in uh, the Duford Hall. And I think this guy here with the glasses wasn't here before. And yet, this is the one who's going to give me Sludge Bomb. And he's really not fitting in. He's talking about Sludge Bomb while everyone else is ranting and raving about adult anime. But yeah. Healthy department store? What the fuck? Well, only one thing to do about that. Let's change it right back. Healthy department store. Well, I hope Lily Cove has been paying them a lot of money because there's no excuse for not worshipping adult anime. So, okay, adult anime, I hope I hope it's gonna pass, I hope the game doesn't have, you know, the kind of memory thing, and, oh, yeah, it doesn't pass, so I'm gonna assume that the game remembers that adult anime was a previous, uh, was a previous trendy saying, so let's try something else, okay? I'm not going to let them give up on that porn fetish just yet. We are still going with adults, but this time, and this is one I considered doing back in part 14 instead of adult anime, but I chose against it. Adult magazine? What? Doesn't work either? What the hell? I didn't know they could turn down trendy sayings. This has never happened to me before. Then again, I never really bothered with that feature before, but still. I have never heard that they could turn down trendy sayings, especially since this discards my whole theory of, you know, adult anime being rejected because it's in a memory of, like, for example, the last five trendy sayings or something, unless they went through an adult magazine phase and I didn't even know it. It would be truly awesome if someone's game fell on something like adult anime or adult magazine on its own instead of, you know, you changing it to that. But I am dragging on about a subject you probably don't care about, and that's fine because the new games have officially been announced, Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. Now there have been a lot of things that have been said over the last, uh, well, not 24 hours, more like... 16, 18 hours, maybe? I don't know, it doesn't really matter. One of the things I've heard is that the names were a little bland. Well, black and white. From a purely technical point of view, you don't get much blander than black and white, so I could sort of agree, but there's just one problem. It's the fact that we don't even know what the game's gonna be about, what the Pokemon are gonna be in it, what the theme is gonna be, though light and darkness, the theme that has been thrown around a lot is a logical choice, and I sincerely hope that's that, but yeah, we don't know a damn thing about this game. It's like when, I remember when they said the title of the Zelda that came out in 2006 was gonna be Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess! I said at the time, that is the worst fucking title they could ever think of, and look at it now! It's my it's my favorite game of all time, and I'm not saying that jokingly, as I did with um, with uh, Hello Kitty Happy Party Pals. It's honest to goodness, my favorite game of all time, Twilight Princess. And yeah, the title sounded horrible at the time, but we didn't know what the game was going to be about, and now that I've played the game, it makes perfect sense just to say that not everything that has Twilight in the title is automatic bullshit. But moving on, the main issue people have with the titles is that they fear that racism is going to play a role at some point because, you know, white and black, it's pretty obvious and there have, there have even been a few jokes about how the third version could be named Pokemon Afri- no, not African American, but uh, Native American or Pokemon Hispanic, but serious. But in all seriousness, I can sort of understand the worries because from what I've seen of the American people, it's not perfect harmony between blacks and whites. I mean, I have seen a lot of absolutely retarded comments about, you know, the, the, the black minority in America. I've heard stuff 
Like, for example, Obama's president because he's black. Well, I'm sorry, but according to what I've seen of America, Obama's president, despite being black, it was way more of a disadvantage than anything else, and he managed to overcome it regardless. I wish I was making this up, but we were in 2008 at the time, and there were still people voting for someone based on the color of their skin. Wow, and it's not like people were closeted racists either. A lot of people out and out said in polls that they planned on voting for McCain because he was white. What the fuck? Now nah, don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against people who voted for McCain. That's what's beautiful about democracy. You can vote for anyone you want, even if their running mate happens to be an all-consuming black hole of incompetence. But if you vote for someone based on their skin color, not sure it's a good idea, and I'm being polite here, I'm trying to refrain from using the terms piece of shit, waste of humanity, or even I'm ashamed to share a sentient humanoid genetic structure with you losers, but I'll stay polite and just say, um, not a good idea. And now, look what I've done. Once again, I have gotten completely sidetracked while talking. Again. I apologize, but the point is that race is such a touchy subject that it's sure to cause some controversy, or it would if Pokemon was as hot a commodity as it was in the era between 1998 and 2001, but now we're in 2010 and Pokemon is mostly considered a, a kid's thing instead of the huge big fat of the moment like it was back then. But that still doesn't change the fact that they are going to be under very high scrutiny and anything that could imply something, even if it's not meant, even if it's not intended, they, there are going to be problems, there's going to be complaining. I've heard something about, you know, well, it's not, it doesn't even qualify as a rumor, it was, it was just one guy who had an idea that maybe why it could have your character be more of a goody two shoes, whereas black would have your character have more of a chaotic alignment. But right that, right there, that would imply that white is good and black is evil. And even the, the theme of light and darkness, which I've mentioned earlier on, just that darkness is commonly associated with evil, black, evil, white, good. You see? You can't, you can't win no matter what you do! And some people are gonna take it to the extreme and say that uh, the black Uber mascot doesn't look as good or isn't as strong or anything if, if there is someone that truly sees racism everywhere, they will complain. But, as I said, the one hope we have is that this isn't 1999 anymore. It's not everyone that's into Pokemon anymore. So, our one hope is that it will go somewhat unnoticed. Re remember what I said at one point about Heracross being supposedly anti-Christian because it had a cross? But in the last two generations, we didn't see any of that kind of whining. Heck, they even brought a god Pokemon into into the fray. Well, maybe not as much of a god as a creator, which is either way it's something that would uh, really cause problems with the religious right, but because Pokemon isn't the fat of the hour anymore, no one really bothered to complain about Arceus. And since I'm going to end this right here, I'm going to come back on Arceus and the whole return to the Sinjo ruins in Hard Gold and Soul Silver in the next video, along with is the deluxe version of the fifth generation going to be called Pokemon Grey? And what's going to be the theme of that? Is there something between light and darkness?